It was the year Amelia Earhart first crossed the Atlantic solo. And also 1932. A seminal book on the poisonous plants of Southern Africa was published called The Poisonous Plants of Southern Africa uh, by two authors, Watt and Brer Brandweg. And it's a really well-known book to ethnobotanists. And in that book, particular feature on this plant, Gloriosa superba, the flame lily, which is well-known to be very poisonous. And I've already talked about this in previous episodes, but the particularly well-known active ingredient in it, which does seem to be the one that's responsible for the toxicological activity, is called colchicine. And colchicine has many wonderful healing properties, but like many good things, it can also, if you take too much of it, kill you. Um, and that was recorded by humans from a long time ago. And if you go to traditional healers, um, and there are so many different uh, medicinals, uh, traditional medicinal preparations made from this plant, but they are aware that it is poisonous and they will tell you to take care and they do generally seem to mix doses um, that take cognizance of the toxicology um, and that makes sense because if you're a healer you don't obviously want to be killing off your patients um, because that's your business and a dead patient isn't generally good for business um, so this is a remarkable plant the poison as I think I've told you before is found in the root and the tuber uh, but 1962, it was documented. Colchicine at that time had not been identified as the active ingredient, but that came in the 1970s. So at that time, all we knew was it was poisonous. Don't take it. Now, of course, we know what the active ingredient is, and we also know what the other positive medicinal applications of that ingredient are, particularly relating to inflammation and cancer treatment. Subject of a separate episode, I'm not gonna go into it now, but just to show you this beautiful, fabulous, amazing flame lily and to tell you be careful it is poisonous oh yes yeah, so <laughs> here's an interesting little fact I told you it's very poisonous and no animals eat it but there is one animal that does eat it it's the porcupine porcupine will come along in the middle of the night they're nocturnal and dig it up from the roots and eat the tubers the roots the whole plant all the way going up to the top quite remarkable how it survives I don't know no other animal appears able to do it but the porcupine regularly eats it. I'd love to know what porcupines have got that make them culture scene resistant. But lucky, lucky, lucky them because they don't have any competition for this plant. So they get it all. Anyway, that's a weird fact, hey? I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. It's been great talking to you. Thanks, guys. Bye.